Motor Retro offers customization to vehicles. We do training, we do commission work for clients. And we run classes to teach people in the skills, in skill development in fabrication and coach building. I just use that as an opportunity to come and bring one of my cars here and, uh, and carry on where I started. Recently we left our workshop in Seven Hills because we had outgrown it. We had a new idea for setting up the workshop so it was more user friendly for everybody, for us and the students. But from that point onwards when we opened our workshop we then worked with John over a number of builds and yeah it's just evolved from that point. What I really liked is I got to learn hands-on on my own car. So instead of sort of standing back and watching the guys do it, they do that once and then they make me go and do the next part. What I like best about John's finished BMW is that beautiful blend of modern to old. It's such a beautiful car, it's the wraparound glass. But it's got a monster underneath. It took me for a drive in it and it scared me. So fuel was kind of started out of my love for classic cars, but I never really enjoyed the unreliability, the poor handling quality. So I started up fuel as a, just to pay homage to the original cars, but give them a bit of a modern uplift. But back in the day, this car was you know, considered a, a, a luxury car. And, and I've driven a lot of uh, E9s in uh, stock form and it's just a completely different driving experience to those cars. We call ourselves coach builders because a hundred years ago you could buy a chassis and put a body on it, whatever body you required, your individual coach builder would make it for you. We're back in the 20s and 30s where vehicles were built by hand to customer specifications and that's very similar to what we do today in our workshop. We did all the metal work with John. Uh, he did all the basic metal work himself. We really helped him work through the problem solving aspects, things that he couldn't do. Methods of repair, we did a little bit of hands on work, metal finishing, lead wiping and basically just kept him on track on the project. There was probably 700 hours of body work on that car. Uh, I did 600 and the guys did another 100 on top of that. And uh, those guys took me through that whole process of how you take something that is, in most people's eyes, unsalvageable to what you saw today. John's a very good customer. We value John because he really appreciates and understands what we do and where we lie in the whole marketplace of automotive classic vehicles. They kind of taught me, I suppose, to take a step back, plan the whole process, and then methodically go through the car. So it's just that knowledge that they imparted and during the process, it was absolutely priceless. The favorite part is being creative. I, we get the opportunity to build these one-off things for ourselves, but also we get to build them for our customers. Realizing people's dreams, actually helping them achieve their dreams. And that's, that's a great thing when you can build bring somebody else's idea to life for them and be a part of that journey with them.